and welcome to today's sports report. We begin with the Kubuli Chebe South Freehand Domino League results from the weekend. In game one, 007 had 80 doughs to secure top spot with three points in the match they won by a single doe. Execute had 79 doughs to end in the second position with two points and Green City with 63 doughs to get one point. In game two, Riders had 84 doughs with three points in the bag. Maho had 78 doughs and two points and Bay Boys with 72 doughs and one point. Game 3, Call for Duty had 84 doughs with 3 points and Kingsville Power 79 doughs with 2 points and Attackers 77 doughs with 1 point. In some other matches, Strikers made 76 doughs to earn themselves 3 points with High Rollers 72 doughs and 2 points and Bulu 66 doughs with 1 point. Still in sports, another secondary school held its annual sports day earlier today on the Portersville Southerner. The Dominica Grammar School today had its students participating in a number of sports activities. Joel Hamilton, who is a physical education teacher at the Dominica Grammar School, said that this year was much more organized than past events. I mean, I, I must say, this year is much more organized in terms of the, the houses, unlike the last two years because we have been down in the Savannah for the past three years and this is the most organized year in terms of the, the students and participation actually the event is actually on time it's running on time and schedule and the level of participation is very high so we have all the schools from across the island participating in the annual sports day that continue to take place on different days of the week right before the easter break and a century from Koshaski, John Lewis helped the Mariner Blasters with a comfortable victory over the Summits. Mariner Blasters won by an innings and 214 runs in the opening round of matches in the Digital Augustus Gregor Premier Cricket League at the Windsor Park Sports Stadium. Summits batted first and was bowled out for 60 with Kazumi Benjamin scoring 20 while Abisha Etienne picked up 3 for 12 and Gillon Tyson 3 for 13. The Blasters in reply scored 315 with Koshaski John Lewis scoring 133 and Trevor Mason with 43. Ian Lewis took 4 for 85 and Kamal Hamilton 3 wickets for the Summit. But in a second time, the Summit could only get 41 with Anderson Burton picking up 2 wickets for 6 runs and Gillan Tyson 3 for 8 for the Blasters. On to some football, a new champion will be crowned in this year's Sports Division's 2016 NBD Primary Schools Boys Football Championships as the four teams which have qualified to the final round go on show at the Windsor Park Sports Stadium on Tuesday, that is March 22nd. The four schools are the St. Mary's Primary, Grandford Primary, the St. John's Primary and the Woodford Hill Primary School. The first semi-final match will be between the St. John's Primary and the Grandford Primary School. The second will feature the Woodford Hill Primary School and the St. Mary's Primary School. These semi-final matches will then be followed by a match to determine the third and fourth place teams. The final will be the last match of the day and will feature the two winners of the semi-final matches. We take another knock in cricket. The Guyana Jaguars have secured back-to-back -back titles with an emphatic innings and 54-run victory against the Jamaica Scorpions with over a day to spare in the final round of the Professional Cricket League First Class Contest in a must-win game. The 10th round began with only the Jaguars and Barbados pride in contention for the top spot and although the Bajans defeated the Leeward Hurricanes by an innings and 93 runs in St. Kitts, the Jaguars were able to extend their unbeaten streak in the PCL cricket to 17 with their record F win of the season. Replying to Guyana's first innings 420, Jamaica, holders of the most consecutive titles 5 from 2008, lost their last 5 wickets for 62 runs after they began the last day on 171 for 5 to be bowled out for 231. Only Antigan Devon Thomas with 43 and Alden Thomas with 45, who shared in a 54-run wicket partnership, offered any resistance to 20-year-old former West Indies on the 19 left-arm spinner Godakesh Moti with 4 for 55 
Left arm spinner Virasami Pomol took two for 43 and left arm Bajan pacer Raymond Riffer with two for 47. Set 189 to make the Guyana Jaguars bat again. Jamaica collapsed to 134 as no batsman surpassed the score of 25 in a pathetic batting display by the depleted Jamaica Scorpions. And for the second time in five days, the Caribbean side produced a successful run chase. Andre Fletcher hit a career best unbeaten half century as the West Indies extended their imperious form by beating reigning champions Sri Lanka by seven wickets in their Group 1 game of the 2020 World Cup on Sunday. Fletcher included in the side at the expense of Seema Jerome Taylor and then promoted to the opening sport following a hamstring injury to Chris Gale unfurled a superb unbeaten 84 to help the Windies get over their target. Fletcher hammered six fours and five sixes, dominating a 39-run first wicket stand with Johnson Charles, who made 10, before adding a further 55 in an unbroken fourth wicket stand with Andre Russell, whose unbeaten 20 required just eight balls. West Indies top group one with four points as the only unbeaten team, but are just ahead of South Africa, Sri Lanka and England, all of whom have two points. And that concludes the Primetime Sport Report for today. I am Island Christopher saying goodbye.